Hey, what's up? My name is Brent Pierce from Cineblur.com and today we're going to be checking out another quick tip in Premiere Pro. This technique will help when you're, say, color grading an interview and you have multiple shots that you have to apply the same effect to. I'm going to show you how to do that properly. So, in Premiere Pro, let's say we have this interview here. We've got this wide shot on the first track. And then on this second track up here, we've got this medium shot. And these were actually shot with two different types of cameras. This tight shot was the Blackmagic Cinema camera, and this wider shot was the production 4K version of that Blackmagic camera. The image out of these cameras is super flat, so that's great when it comes to grading. But as you can see, there's tons of different cuts throughout this interview. So what we want to do, we want to color grade the shots and then have it apply to the rest of the footage throughout the interview. So before this feature was available, what I would do is you know I'd click the clip and then I do some basic grading here let's just throw something in here give some saturation shadows down let's cool it off a bit and yeah you know you can do a little curves here make it look kind of neat and hipstery yeah, so you know, you got your basic color correction there. So if we want to apply this grade on the rest of it, typically in the past what I would do is I'd get this color corrector, I'd copy it, I'd select the rest of the clips, and then I'd paste it. And you can see that the effect was just applied to the rest of it, okay? That's how I would do it in the past, but if you have to edit the effect, then you gotta go into your first one, you know, say the client decides he wants it black and white, well, now the rest of them aren't black and white, so I'm going to have to copy the Lumetri color, I'm going to have to remove attributes, and then I'm going to have to paste it. That takes way too long just for a small edit. So the proper way to do it, let's do it on the second track here. The proper way to do it would be to color correct the source clip, meaning that the effects that we apply to it get applied to the source of that footage. And then anytime you overlay that onto a timeline, the effects kind of go with it. So I'll show you what I mean here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna click the clip, but in your color corrector window, up here is where we're gonna make the, the changes. Here's your master clip, and here's the clip that's inside your timeline. So make sure we click this master, and now any effect that we do gets applied to that master source clip. So let's just do a quick little thing here. Give it some curves, you know. I don't know, I'm just doing like random things, just so we can see that there's an effect. Shadows are still a bit up. Bring his face up just a little bit, and then you know what, let's throw a vignette because, just because, why not, you know? Okay, so we just applied that to the source clip of this. Now if we scrub through, you'll see that it took effect throughout the entire thing. It's incredible, right? So if you click just the clip here, it'll only be applied to that clip. So that's great if maybe you have like a small section where the sun might have dipped down if you were using natural light. You can just click that clip and then apply a second Lumetri color onto this clip. But for now, we want to just mess with the master. So I'm going to click the master, desaturate it. Maybe the client wanted that. Look at that face. He's deep in thought there. That's great. Bring up the contrast. And then the rest of our clips followed suit. How about that, huh? And you can access these effects. If you go into effects controls, there'll be another master button here. You can click and then you'll see your Lumetri effect. So you can apply other things too, like uh, blurs or any kind of effects that are found in the effects panel. You can throw it in the source of that clip and it'll be applied globally throughout your edit. That's great. When I found that out, my mind was blown. It saved tons of time when color grading and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will see you guys next time.